In this video, we're going to walk through how to create a simple sales commission rate for sales order lines. We'll set the commission rate on a particular product and we will calculate the commission rate with a calculator field. There's other ways to go about this. You might want to create a new model that calculates the commission rate per sales team or per salesperson so you can have unique rates but we'll just do this in the most simple example here we'll have a couple of products we'll duplicate and we'll make product two and for this we're going to actually need studio so what we'll do is install the studio application quickly So we'll install the studio app in order for us to edit some of our views and add some custom fields such as the commission rate and the commission total on the sales order lines. So now let's go into our inventory and go back to our products. We'll click the studio icon at the top right corner of your screen. We'll just add a simple decimal. And we'll call this commission rate. We'll make the widget of type percentage. And we'll edit the commission rate for both of our products make that five and let's say eight percent now in our sales order we'll go create set customer one And we'll edit this view in Studio and we'll go into our sales order lines. We'll add a new decimal field or a monetary field. It's going to be commission, so the total commission. And we'll also add in a related field for the product template commission, so the rate we set on the product template. So we'll see. So now we have all that said. The next thing we want to do is activate developer mode. So we'll go to settings, scroll down to activate developer mode. Now we'll go back to our sales application. Go back into studio, edit this list view, and for our commission here, so we have our commission rate, Is this is a technical name for it, and we have our commission field, and we have our subtotal, which will multiply our subtotal by our, by our commission rate, so we have price underscore subtotal, so let's go into here and click more. Say for record in self, we'll do our record commission is equal to record commission rate times record price underscore subtotal, I believe. We'll set our dependencies. So it should work. Record our studio commission. 
or our, our commission is equal to our commission rate times our price subtotal. So let's close that. Let's add some lines and see if this works. And we see our commission rate added successfully here. And we'll just change these prices. All right, so now we've created our commission rate, so we've calculated all of our rates. The next thing what we want to do is have some nice way to look at this. And I think the easiest way to do this is to add another menu item on our top of our menu bar, this purple bar up here. And we'll relate back to our sales order line in order to view this in the most efficient way. And we'll make that a pivot view by default. So let's save this. And let's duplicate and make another one. And we'll just change the sales rep. And we'll say this is five units and five units. Just to have a little bit of different numbers. And before we move on to that, just keep in mind we can hide these commission rates if we don't want to necessarily see them on the sales order line. We just want them to be calculated. So I'll make this invisible as well as this. We just want to see, make sure it was working. And now we'll go to uh, back into studio actually and we'll add another menu item here. So we'll edit the menu, we'll create a new menu item and we'll say commission and we'll do this from an existing model It'll be the sale order line um, order line yeah, then we sale order line and we'll save this we'll go into our commission view and we'll go to click views and we're actually going to make this we we'll activate pivot view and we'll make it the default view let's go back to views we'll make this set as default now we're going to go into the pivot view and what we'll do is column groupings we'll make sure that we have commission set so let's see measurements we want commission for measurements actually so we'll have this commission and now you'll see commission here and we'll do by salesperson and that should be it so we have our total sales commission we actually might want to do sales commission or let's see so we can see the sales commission by date and it might be helpful to flip these so we have our sales reps on the left and the date on the right we can save this as our default and if we wanted to add another month so as we can go into orders or quotes let's create another one and let's just say this is for February we'll confirm that and let's take a look at our commission again. We're not seeing it yet for all right. So that's our creation date. So that's when we created it. Let's see if we can do schedule date or invoice date. So let's go to orders again. We actually want to change. Let's see. So what we did set before was the date in which 
Uh, the quote was goodbye, but we want to have, if we had an order date for a future date, then we'd be able to see and group our commissions by that date. So the created date here. Um, we can also always filter by a specific date. So the date ordered, created on, or anything else that we would like to filter by. But essentially, this is what we wanted to end up with. We wanted a total of the commissions per employee. That way we can pay them out uh, whenever we'd like. We can also accomplish this through an automated action if we didn't want to have a calculated field here. So we could have actually created an automated action to update this. And that might be more helpful so that if we wanted to change the commission rates in the future, we only change them for those that were updated and we don't necessarily go in and change them retro uh, retroactively. So all in all, that's how you would, or that's one way we can create a simple sales commission rate calculation and view that um, in a nicer pivot view table here that can be exported.